90% of small businesses have the same problem that stops them from being found on Google, and that is lack of knowledge. They don't understand well enough how Google ranks businesses in local search results and on Google Maps, and they make the same common mistakes. After auditing dozens of local businesses to help them improve their rankings in Google, I have come up with a list of 11 of the most common issues small businesses face. If you're struggling to be found on Google, watch this video, apply the recommendations, and wait for the phone to ring. Let's start with the first mistake. Mistake number one, not claiming a Google business profile. A Google Google business profile is a must if you want people who live in your area to find your business either on Google Maps or Google Search. With a Google business profile, you can showcase your business to potential customers and entice them to either call you or visit your website if you have one. Your business profile will show up for searches in Google that are relevant to the services or products you provide. If you search for your business name on Google, you may find that Google has already created a profile for your business based on information that already exists on the web. If this is the case, claim it and add as much information to it as you can. If you can't find a business profile, just go to google.com slash business and create one from scratch. It's completely free. Mistake number two not having a website. Many small business owners nowadays feel it is unnecessary to have a website and rely on a Facebook business page or other social media platforms to attract new customers instead. This is a huge oversight. Having a website is an absolute must as it gives you the chance to create compelling content pages that can rank in Google for keywords you want your business to be found for. Also, there is a strong correlation between your website and your Google business profile. Having one without the other will diminish your chances of being found on Google. If money is an issue, you can use the free website option provided by Google once you've claimed a listing. Mistake number three, set and forget. To me, this is one of the biggest issues I come across. A lot of business owners think that once they've claimed a Google business profile and created a website, their job is done and clients will be rolling in. No, you can't just set and forget. You need to nurture both your website and your business profile, create new content, add fresh information, images, and so on. You also need to give it some time. Rome wasn't built in a day. Some of your competitors have probably been at it for years, so you can't expect to rank at the top of Google overnight. You'll need to work hard and be patient. Mistake number four, inconsistent name, address, and phone number. Your NAP, also known as name, address, and phone number, is the location and contact details for your business that can be found on your website, your social media pages, popular directories, and other websites. Google cross-references this information to verify the legitimacy of a business. That's why the consistency of your business information is key. Any discrepancy between NAPs may result in lower rankings in search results. To check that your name, address, and phone numbers are consistent across the web, use a citation tracker such as Bright Local, which will flag any inconsistency it comes across so you can easily fix them. Mistake number five, not building backlinks to your website. This common mistake comes up time and time again when I audit my client's website, and whenever I flag it to them, more often than not, they look at me blankly. This is when I realize they have no idea what I'm talking about. For those of you watching this video who share the same feeling, here is a simple definition of what backlinks are. Backlinks, also known as inbound links, incoming links, or one-way links, are links from one website to a page on another website. Google and other major search engines consider backlinks votes for a specific page. Pages with a high number of backlinks tend to have high organic search engine rankings. When it comes to small businesses, the backlinks that matter the most come from other local websites, such as your local chamber of commerce, a local blogger, your local newspaper's website, other local businesses' websites, and so on. If you want your business to be found on Google, I suggest you roll up your sleeves and start working on building links with other local websites. You won't regret it. Mistake number six, not creating enough content on your website. The content on your website is what is going to help your business be found on Google. But if you are not creating enough of it, 
you are really limiting your chances of being discovered by Google and obviously by new customers. More and more small business owners choose a minimalist approach and focus on design and simplicity. And it's very common nowadays to see one page websites or for businesses to bundle all their services on the same page. Unfortunately, bundling content onto one page or choosing a sleek looking website doesn't equal rankings. You need to produce detailed information about what your business is about and what you offer so you can optimize multiple pages for different keywords. If you need more help on this topic, I suggest you watch my video, nine must have pages for a local website. Mistake number seven, ignoring Google reviews. Google reviews play a big part in the overall visibility of your business on Google local search results and Google Maps, but also help convert visitors into customers. Reviews will undeniably help your Google business profile climb the ranking ladder. Ignore them at your peril. I've seen so many business owners neglect reviews, it's almost unbelievable. This is once again the set and forget syndrome. Once they've created a Google business profile, they simply don't revisit it anymore. If you fall into this category, I suggest you focus some of your attention on reviews. Get into the habit of asking your customers for a Google review via email or text and make sure you follow up with a response whether the review is good or bad. By the way, this shouldn't be a one-off effort, but more of a routine task, just like brushing your teeth, for example. Mistake number eight, picking the wrong business category for your Google profile. When creating a business profile, Google asks you to pick a primary business category that matches your main activity. While this is fairly straightforward for certain businesses like plumbers or electricians, if you are a dentist or a lawyer, for example, the choice may not be as clear cut since several options may be available. Because the category you choose will have a direct impact on where you rank on Google Maps, you'd better choose carefully. The easiest way to figure if you've picked the right one is to spy on your competitors business listings and find out what category they have chosen for themselves. You can easily do this with a free Google Chrome extension like GMB Everywhere. Once installed, go to the Google Maps and search for a keyword you are trying to rank for and check the results. The primary category for each listing will be displayed in an orange box along with a star. The other categories listed are secondary categories. These also play a part in where you rank on Google Maps, so if you feel they apply to your business as well, add them to your profile. Mistake number nine, missing location keywords in content. If you want people who search for businesses like yours locally to find you on Google Maps, it's important to add location-specific keywords to your content. Let's say you're an electrician based in San Diego. Adding the keyword San Diego strategically within your content will help your site rank for that very location and drive more customers to call you. Omitting to add these location-specific keywords to your content may result in lower rankings in Google and you might miss out on precious customers' leads. No need to go overboard like in this example for a plumber based in Birmingham, England, who mentioned the location he's targeting 29 times on just one page. Google is likely to see this as spam and visitors reading this page will end up scratching their heads in disbelief as it doesn't even read very well. Mistake number 10, poor website technical health. It's important for your website to be technically sound. Technical errors often prevent search engines from crawling websites correctly. This can lead to some of your pages not appearing in search results or worse, for your website not to show at all. If you've been running your website for a while and are updating it regularly, it is likely some technical issues have cropped up without even you noticing. Throughout all the audits I have conducted, I have yet to come across a website that was 100% issue free. To avoid this, I recommend you run a technical audit on your site regularly. The good news is these issues are generally easy to fix as long as you know what you are doing. If you don't, I suggest you reach out to a professional for help. Mistake number 11, slow website. The speed at which a user can access your web pages is directly correlated with your website rankings in Google. In its quest to improve customer experience, Google has been rewarding faster web pages with higher rankings. That's why it's important you seriously consider improving your website speed if you need to. Also, besides the benefit of ranking higher, 
most people searching for a local business will do so via their mobile phones, since their attention span will be really limited, a faster website will keep them engaged and help convert them into customers. To check the speed of your web pages, use Google's PageSpeed Insight tool, in which you'll be able to see how well your site is performing, both on mobile and desktop. You should aim to reach a site speed of at least 90 in both cases. You may need the help of a professional for that. There is room for one more item on this list for images, but I feel it deserves a whole video to itself. Good job I've already made one, so go and check it out. You won't regret it. Thank you.